Good morning guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. Got another haul video for you today, really good haul. Um, it's come, some's come privately over the shop, some I've bought the car boot sales from last weekend still. I've been out this weekend, Saturday was a washout, um, but I went out Sunday with Stephen Bunny and we went down to Bessma Road in Cardiff, then we went down to Bridge End Multi-Story Car Park, then we went down some charity shops and then we ended up in Tremorfa Industrial Estate in the indoor flea market. So we bought quite a bit and I'll spread that out throughout the week. Um, I told you at the end of one of the videos last week that somebody contacted me with a few pub signs. Um, well, let me turn my price tag around. This is the first one that I purchased. So we have a bass uh, on draft uh, mirror. Now if you look closely at the lettering here, it's all tooled and gilded, really nicely done. It's got a bit of wear here to the, uh, the mercury glass. Really nice, I love the lettering on this. It's a real nice sign. Date wise it's probably 1940s, somewhere around there. Now I paid £20 for it. My asking price in the shop here is 65 and I think it's worth every penny of that. So that was alright. And again, another £20 buy off the same people was this Martel & Co's very fine cognac brandy sign. you got the cavalry officers there in the middle. Again, I like the writing. It's not as detailed uh, as the other there's no tooling or gilding in the actual letters but still really nicely done a nice size mirror advertising this one's a bit later quite a bit later to be honest it's probably 1980s um, but that's just a guess but either way I do like it and I've priced him up at £45 so my £40 outlay is going to return me £100 give or take um, they're up for 110, I may be lucky and get 110, but unlikely, I'll probably achieve 95, 100, somewhere around there, for the two. Um, gentleman came in last week and we done some trading, some bartering, and I had some replica medals from the London Mint, and a treasure chest for a load of old banknotes and things that I didn't want. Let me show you the chest. Now, it's quite a nice looking chest. It's not the biggest. It would make a lovely jewellery box for a young girl, you know. Fill it with costume jewellery. What a Christmas gift that would be for a young girl for dress up. Um, so we have, literally, a pirate's treasure chest. And it's on soft close hinge. And put it on a soft close hinge. I don't think it's that old. However, it does have a nice look to it. Um, Cooper top. So it's a nice little thing, copper stud in all the way around and this strap work, so it's a nice box. Um, between them, um, the box and the medals owe me about £122, I'll show you the medals in just a minute, if I still got them down here. Um, he took £82 worth of coins and banknotes and I gave him £40 cash. Now. The box, I see it about 40 quid, 35, 40 pound, or what I may do, if I'm not going to sell it, I may just open it up, fill it with costume jewellery and just sell costume jewellery through the treasure chest. And then you never know, someone may come in and say, well, how much for the box and the contents? And, you know, if I got 100 quid or 200 quid worth of jewellery in there, I might say a couple of hundred quid. Sell all the jewellery and the box in one go. But it's a nice little box, and to be honest with you, if it weren't for the fact my daughter has umpteen boxes full of jewellery, this one would have gone to a two. I'll show you the medals in a minute now. Um, I don't think I've put this into a film yet. Um, this was a bit of jewellery I had last week in Bessma Road. Let's see if I can get it there so you can see a tiny. It's a beautiful, beautiful brooch. Now it's 830 grade silver, so 830 parts are silver. It's fully stamped on the back here, 
on this bit here I stamped 830SHS and HS is for Herman Searsball if I can pronounce that right and we have a Danish brooch that's the uh, name there now some of this stuff sells for up to 70 and 80 pound but being realistic looking at other prices for similar pieces there are a few people asking sort of 60s and 70s for a brooch of this type I can see about 30 35 pound for it it's a nice Danish brooch that will sell easily for that money and it cost me two pound investment so I'm more than happy with that um, let me have a quick look if I got the coins two seconds sorry guys they weren't the coins they were the medals and we had them still in the shop so there we have a really nice presented medal set and it is called the World War One campaign medal set with the Victoria Cross in the middle the Great War uh, the George Cross and so on that's a really really nice set there um, fully illustrated in the book um, I think it was the Worcestershire medal company was it yeah the Worcestershire medal services so you got the 1914-15 star British war medal uh, no that's just talking about them so you've got this yeah you got the star and the victory medal and the Victoria Cross so okay either way metal sets probably worth about 200 give or take maybe a bit more uh, the box is going to be as I say about 40 quid so I'm going to double my money it cost me 120 quid I'm comfortably going to double my money on that set what more can I say there was one other lady that came in the shop she'd been coming in the shop buying glass vases as you know I had a whole heap of glass in about 70 or 80 pieces of Romaniki or Romaki uh, Lassie white fryers and so forth well a lady been coming in and she'd been buying green glass vases she don't care who made them she's just been having them because of the color and the shape well she came in last week and she wanted to trade and I'll show you what she traded now okay as I said the lady came in and she wanted to trade um, a couple of pieces for a glass vase now the glass vase she took was priced up at 18 pounds which I would have sold for 15 um, in place of the vase she traded me in a pair of small Beswick or Beswick pottery dogs these are replicas of the Victorian flatback Staffordshire dogs flatback and undecorated because they used to go up against the wall on the mantle you never saw the back so they would always just do the back now I've priced these up at £20 a pair and I'll take anything over £15 so the cost of the vase is covered here on these two Bezic dogs however thrown in the mix was also this Chavel horse now Chavel is a factory or uh, a company that started in 1980 by Johnny De Beer and they produced mainly horses at the time and they shipped mainly to North America and the United Kingdom it's got its label on there eh? now if you remember a while back I traded some of these horses with a lady and they sold before I but as soon as the lady walked out the shop I'd sold them there was a woman in here when uh, we were doing the trade and she had them there and then they're quite spectacular horses and their comical ones are very very popular they demand a decent uh, price I'll include a couple of photographs now in a minute uh, no in a minute typical Welsh thing uh, in just a second now um, of the company a little read if it's not a company you're familiar with you really do need to uh, familiarize yourself because a horse like this will pull as much if not more than a Beswick horse that horse there is probably a 40 pound horse uh, maybe 30 to 40 pound then um, but comfortably going to achieve that sort of figure 
And if you can get the comic book ones, they can be a lot more money. So as a bit of bartering this week, you know, I've come away with the dogs, the horse, the medals and the treasure chest um, for 40 quid really because once the stock is in you, it don't mean anything to me. If it's in the shop here, my part, what I enjoy is going out finding it and buying it and loving it and then once I got it in the shop for sale, I just want it gone. Well, the bank notes I'd had for a while, they come in very cheap and they were only priced up at a pound a note. Uh, a couple of them were £2 a note, but more often than not, they were a pound a note. And he took a load of them, and they'd been there for quite a while, so it was nice to see them sold. And swapped into someone else, so it's been a couple of really nice pieces. Uh, brought in by there, bartering and buying in. Goes to show, having a shop is really handy. Now, they tried those signs on Facebook selling site a couple of times and apparently you've had them for months and haven't been able to do anything with them. At 20 quid each, they were a steal. Talking about a steal, have a look at this. I went down to Bessemer Road Market Sunday, this Sunday, um, with Stephen. And we were walking around and we bought them really well considering it was only two or three rows. It was very quiet, but we had a lot of rain over the weekend. But it was dry Sunday. I've had. Hello. Hello. Sorry, guys. I had uh, customers come in there. As I was saying, um, walking around in the morning with Stephen, uh, I bought a beautiful piece of advertising. Now we have some metal sign. And it is for the famous famous Valspar boiling water test on this side. Valspar two to four hour lacquer on sale here. Now that's a really really nice sign. It's probably 1930s. But what's even better? Double sided. You can see the one side's a little faded, so it's been in a window. Um, but this drew quite a crowd um, in Bessemer when I bought it. It's got a little bit of damage on it in way, um, but that's all right. I don't mind that. All in all, it's really, really nice. You can see some bubbling here, but that's okay. Absolutely love it. Yeah, the one side's faded, the other side is bright. So it's definitely either been mounted on a wall or it's been in a window with a sun connected. But the one side is really, really bright and strong. Now I looked online. There ain't another one not up for sale, period, of this particular one. There are other Valspar signs up for sale. There's a metal one up for sale similar to this, single-sided for 65. Not the same design, but similar. There's a double-sided one up for sale that is different. And that was up for 120 and there's a cardboard version up for sale at 110 so I'm not 100 percent yet on what a price on this um, more research is definitely needed it's not going to be less than 75 pounds um, but I'm thinking it's going to be closer to the hundred cost me a pound a whole pound in Gethley ah Gethley in Bessemer Road so it's absolutely spectacular look at the way the gentleman there is dressed really nice you wouldn't be working in an office or creating the lacquer like that dress like that would you no this day and age you'd be in overalls and safety gear so really really nice uh, sign there bit of advertising and for a pound that was a steal anyway i'm gonna call it by there i've got loads to film uh so there'll be a few films coming out again this week some really nice pieces been I really enjoyed going out buying at the moment and buying some really nice items. Um, so, you know, you can't complain. Christmas is coming. Dealers are out there. People are out there letting go some of their price stock to raise money for Christmas. So I'm happy to go and buy it. Guys, I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully you've enjoyed having a little look at some of the pieces that have come in today. My favourite has to be the Valspar sign, but second and a close second is the Bass Mirror really good gear and of course the medals are a third without a shadow of a doubt hopefully you've enjoyed having a look 
If you have, I would really appreciate a like and a share. Feel free to comment, let me know what's your favourite. I will get back to you all as soon as I can. I am busy, but I do answer all my comments eventually. Guys, thanks for watching. Bye for now.